Hey everybody and welcome back to Bigfoot Cooking. Tonight we're making Squatch's secondhand chicken. Yep, kind of a used chicken connoisseur. Because you know, when the Colonel loves that chicken at bow time, usually you got a little bit left over. Well, what do you do with it? You can heat it up the second day or you can make an entirely new dish out of it. And that's what we're after today. So today for this menu, pretty much it's all right here in front of you. We're gonna start out we're gonna start out with some leftover chicken, obviously. I mean, how else are you gonna have secondhand chicken? Um, honestly, this is one of those variable amounts. It depends on how hungry you were the day before. You might have 20 pieces. If you really overbought, you might have six or seven like we do. So we'll have the chicken that we'll strip down in a bit. We're gonna have a pound of tortellini, because again, pasta and cheese. Come on, what could go wrong? Uh, we'll be using a half an onion for this. Uh, two cloves of garlic, maybe three, depends on how I feel when I really get to the cooking, but at least two cloves, get the flavor out. Um, mushrooms, a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, pepper, and paprika for the flavor. Paprika is one of those things you can get smoked, you can get spicy. We're just gonna be using the regular spice or smoked paprika. Um, from there we have a little bit of crowding. We have two tablespoons cream cheese, uh, half a cup of heavy cream. You could use milk if you don't have it, but it makes it a thicker base with the heavy cream. And spinach. Spinach again is one of those accessories. How much spinach do you want to use? That's the question. <sighs> so now that we've got the menu set up, let's start with the cooking. Now, believe it or not, to cook pasta, it requires water, boiling water, hot water, salty hot water. So let's get this guy in the bubbler, get the hot tub ready for the kids, and let's get the party started. And of course, once you have hot water involved, you wanna go ahead and salt it. Salty is a C. Don't know what that means, but we're putting salt in the water to add a little something to the pasta. Beats me, I just know it's required. Now to prepare the chicken, I'm not really after the skins or the fry on this. So as delicious as it is, we're actually not gonna use that part. All that we're after is the actual meat. White meat, dark meat, purple meat, if you get an alien chicken, I don't know. But we're just gonna take all the chicken, discard the bones, discard the skin, and this is what we're gonna work with. Now don't get too hung up on every little piece of skin. It's okay to have some. You just don't want the, the large, big chunks of it. And now that we have saved all our chicken, we didn't, we didn't try to get any of the gristle or connections and use your own preference on how far you wanna go into this. But now we got our pile of chicken. We're gonna kinda cut it up into big chunks or small chunks. I mean, however much chicken you wanna find when you bite into this later depends on how fine you cut it now. Me, I'm thinking a rough chop about like this will be just right. You'll see where this comes in handy in just a second. And now for the onion, we'll take and slice it in half, slice the half in half, we'll cut off the butt, peel that outer layer of skin off, and then to cut this guy up, what I'm gonna do is make some straight down cuts here and then come back and slice it in this way. This way everything kind of makes it a lot nicer and dicier. And then rough chop the end and rinse and repeat. We apply a little bit of olive oil pan lubricant because we want that to do just right. And we slide our onions in. Ah, the sound of happiness. Nothing like things sizzling in the frying pan. We'll get these guys cooked down until all the white's gone and they're a little bit translucent. Look at that beautiful coating of onion cookedness. Now that that's looking about how I want, Let's take our garlic, do a little squish. That is so satisfying. I ain't gonna lie guys, there's just something 
really nice about doing that. Now we're gonna take and let the garlic brown up a bit. And while that's going on, let's add our pasta to the boiling water. Into the hot tub, kids. Whee! Don't forget to stir when you put pasta in, otherwise they may get a little sticky. And you don't want a lump of pasta, you want pasta noodles or tortellinis or whatever you make. Now that the garlic is happy, 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 let's put our whoop, little pat of butter, get this guy melted in. Now that our butter has magically disappeared, let's magically add our mushrooms. Ho, ho, ho. I am a mushroom connoisseur. And I tell you what, I don't, I think you could double these mushrooms and I'd still be happy. We're gonna cook these guys down, down, down until they're nice and brown, brown, brown. Now, while this is getting almost done, if you guys are kind of enjoying some of the little delicious meals that we've got going on, how about doing me a favor and clicking like right here, that little Sasquatch guy? That's the subscribe button. And that will help you see more of this crazy stuff and give me reasons more to cook. So if you could do that for me, I'm really wanting to get a silver play button and I gotta do it one video at a time. Thanks. Now that our mushrooms are cooked down good, we're gonna add our flour and stir that in until it mixes everywhere. It's kind of a roux we're making, but not entirely because we're not swimming in butter. And now that our flour has magically disappeared, let's add our chicken. All that leftover second place chicken has a home tonight. Now that we've got a quick mix on this, it's time for our salt, our pepper, and our paprika. All right, it's not paprika, paprika, but it does add a nice little lovely taste and flavor. Now with everybody combined, let's slide in our creamy part, little cheese. I mean, come on, cheese. Let's get with the program here, people. We'll melt this cheese down and then we liquefy. You ready for it? Here comes the milk. This will thicken it up, make it just soupy, saucy, delicious. Now we're gonna cook this in till we get a good little boil on it and gets everything mixed, marinated, and happy. All right, we're gonna let that situate and get a little boily. In the meantime, whoosh, steam facials. Our pasta is ready. We're gonna turn it off and I'm gonna find my mitt and we're gonna dump this hot, hot out and into the sink. Nah, not into the sink, maybe into a colander. Bye-bye, hot water. So long, you have served us well. We've got this cooked down. It is time for the spinach. I mean, this is healthy, yummy. Now you would be surprised. It looks like a whole, whole bunch of spinach right there as it tries to escape the frying pan. Not today. This will cook down and almost disappear. Just like it keeps trying to disappear from the heat. Let me get a stir on this and oh, we'll be ready. See, I told you every bit of that would just about disappear. I didn't take none out. It shrunk that much. So now we've got that ready. We've got the pasta ready. Let's go ahead and mix us up a bowl. And I'm going to cheat. I'm going to slide this right back into here. Because, I mean, dirty dishes. Why? And we're going to set this guy to slide right in. We'll just give it a little bit of assistance because this is some thick, yummy, yummy right here. And like we've always said, no sauce will be left behind. From here, we give everything a, a good mix to fully get the goodness on the goodness. I'm not sure which is better, the cheese tortellini or the secondhand chicken. But we will get it all mixed up and 
joyful and happy, and we will pop this on a plate. We're gonna set this delectable dish right here for you to see, and we're gonna take us out just a little bit. I mean, after all, this stuff is hot. We'll set it right here. Let this cool down for just a minute before we take a bite. <laughs> Let's see, we should be cooled off by now. I gave it a minute just to, to calm down and relax. Now we know the chicken's good because we bought it, but with all the, the onion, the garlic, the seasoning, Let's see how it cooked out. Yep. It brings a nice little touch to it. And I mean, come on, it's tortellini. It's already got cheese in it. It can't be wrong. The only thing that could be wrong with this is if you don't think Bigfoot's real. Now, believe it or not, to start the pasta, it takes a big old thing of water. We're gonna set, uh, we're gonna set, 